All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think we are ready to begin. Uh, I'd like to say um, welcome to the 2020 um, swearing-in ceremony for Soda First Nations. I am uh, Greta Goddard. I was the electoral officer throughout this process. And I would like to thank all the people here um, for being so willing to serve their community. Uh, it has been a privilege, it really has been a privilege uh, to be a part of this process uh, and a privilege to congratulate you all, uh, the current council and chief, um, on this auspicious occasion. Um, obviously, throughout this process, it's been a bit difficult because we've had to deal with our COVID-19 uh, pandemic and it has made it um, unprecedented times for sure. Um, but I would like to say that the health and safety measures were in place to protect uh, the citizens of this community. And that was strongly supported uh, by the electoral team and by the previous council. So for that, we are uh, very grateful. It has indeed been a time where everybody has been experiencing stress and anxiety. And um, again, would like to thank the citizens of this community, uh, all the electoral team and the candidates, for your patience, your understanding, and your kindness. Um, the electoral process, um, because of COVID-19, has been uh, a little more challenging. <clears throat> we have not been able to have uh, public meetings, um, which has been unfortunate business. Um, but even with those restrictions, uh, I can say with the most sincerity, that the elections were conducted with a complete openness and transparency. And it is thanks to that electoral team uh, to make sure that that happened. So we will uh, open our forum today with a prayer. And I would like to call on our Chief Justin Napoleon. Hello everyone. I'd just like to start off by saying thank you to the Creator and to all my ancestors for giving me and everyone else here the strength to work towards trying to make a better place for our people. And as a First Nations person, the betterment and longevity of our people is important. And we are strong and resilient with all our ancestors looking on, I pray for positivity and growth and for good things for all of us. Um, that's all I have to say, really. Oh, thank you. Also, some housekeeping uh, duties. Um, just to let everyone know, we are still in the middle of a COVID-19 pandemic, so social distancing is definitely required. Uh, bathrooms are open. Um, when you leave, just maintain that social distancing as, as well. We have separate pens for the signing. Um, Norma's been in charge of all of that. She's been stellar. Um, this process is videotaped. Uh, and it will be posted on the Soda First Nations website. And we'd also like to thank Chat TV for showing up here to record this event as well. So just for clarity, um, you guys uh, already know this, keeping noise at a minimum. So the format is pretty simple. I will read uh, the code of conduct. And then after that, um, we will call each member forward and they will sign the oath of office and Norma will um, conduct that service. And at that time of signing, if you would like to make a statement or a speech, you are more than welcome to do that. And after that, we will have our closing, and I think there are definitely dignitary pictures to follow. Can you hear me? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. We'll start with our Soda First Nations Chief and Council swearing-in ceremony, Code of Conduct for June 2020. 
We, the duly elected council member of the Soto First Nations, do declare, as a leader of Soto First Nations, I will govern as one in unity with my fellow chief and counselors, uphold and abide by all of the first all of the Soto First Nations laws, bylaws, policies, and procedures, and traditional laws and customs as enacted. Preserve and protect our treaty and rights and our Aboriginal rights and titles. Treaty 8 rights, sorry. Preserve and protect our treaty and traditional lands using best management practices in the use and preservation of our natural resources. Preserve and protect and encourage the rights and practices of our culture, language, laws, and customs including the right to communicate in the Cree language. Ensure the safety of the Soto First Nation citizens, community members, and community property. Provide leadership and governance to Soto First Nations based on the priorities given me by the citizens through community consultation and ratification, as appropriate and practicable with the other declaration made here in Soto First Nations Leadership Policy Manual. Exercise and exert the authority of my office in a manner that is consistent in keeping with the best interests and acting in good faith of the Soto First Nations community, its citizens, and its community members. Perform the duties and obligations of my office with accountability, openness, and transparency in an honorable, respectful, and professional manner befitting an elected leader of our nation. Ensure that quorum is maintained during and duly convened council meeting and for any vote on a motion of council. Refrain from any activity that may and or will disqualify and remove me from my office or be in contravention or negligence to any other Soto First Nations laws, bylaws, policies and procedures, traditional laws and customs, and or any other applicable regulatory requirement, including but not limited to reporting for duty under the influence of drugs, alcohol, and or other substance that might affect or alter my behavior and my ability to think and make sound decisions, or conducting or protecting any criminal activity, or breaching trust and or confidentiality and loyalty, or causing a real or perceived conflict of interest, or using influence for personal advantage, or disclosing any confidential information gained through my position, in contravention of the Freedom of Information and Protection of Privacy Act, or disclose any confidential information gained through my position in contravention of the Leadership Policy Manual, or inappropriately using and or handling of Soto First Nations monies, property and or equipment, or accepting inappropriate gifts, or failing to report the receipt of such gifts, or failing to attend council meetings without prior authorization for absence, or being disrespectful to any Soto First Nation citizen, community members, fellow chief or counselors, administrative staff members, persons, groups, or organizations, or failing to maintain my status as a citizen in good standing. Number 12, encourage and maintain fully open communications with all of the citizens and community members of the Soto First Nations, and not withholding or conceal any information regarding any matter of importance of the nation, not to interfere with administrative duties and obligations, except as per the requirements set forth in the Leadership Policy Manual. We will now begin our signing, and I will give it over to uh, Norma. Before I start, I just want to say congratulations to the new Chief and Council, the new elected Chief and Council for the term of 2020-23. First, I'd like to say this has been very rewarding for me, as this is my first election other than doing a by-election. There were long hours, but those hours is something that I took pride in and will always remember. Good luck to all. And may the Creator guide you, protect each one of you during your term. I just want to say a special thank you to our team that was part of this election. Special thanks to Greta, who is our officer, electoral officer, and Celine, Selena, Mary, uh, who is our backup IRA. Estelle, who is our Director of Operations, uh, Corey for Security, and Les.
And also, thank you, Kaylin, for being a part of all this. A special thank you to Sarah for waiting for us at all, all hours during, during this time and posting onto our website. So before I get each one to sign, I will call on upon each one. I'll have you sit, bring your folder, and I'll get you to sit over there, and then I will get your folder. Chief Justin Bowen. To you, Justin Lynn Napoleon, solemnly affirm and declare that the contents of this affidavit are true to the best of your knowledge, information, and belief. I do. It's signed in that. Kenneth Cameron. <coughs> to you, Kenneth Ralph Cameron, solely affirm and declare that the contents of this affidavit are true to the best of your knowledge, information, and belief. Yes, I do. Congratulations, Sam. Ruby Paquette. Okay. Do you really call Paquette okay. solely so over and declare that the contents of this affidavit are true to the best of your knowledge? information and belief. Yes, sir. Congratulations, Jordan. We have Owens. You, you may arrive, Owens. So we have heard and declare that the contents of this affidavit are true to the best of your knowledge information and belief. Yes, I do.
Congratulations. Five motion. Do you file a full motion, solely affirm and declare that the contents of this affidavit are true to the best of your knowledge, information, and belief? Yes, I do. Congratulations. So all your signed documents, when you get back to your council chambers, each, you can make copies for yourself, but those will go to a cell in the diary of operation, and one will come to me also. Congratulations, Chief and Council. Um, at this time, if you would like to make a short statement, you are more than welcome to come forward. Or we will move on. No, well, good. Don't want to pass it. Okay. Uh, we will move on to our uh, photos. I think we have some group photos. I think we have somebody. Okay, Ms. Owens. Hi everyone, I just want to thank um, all the people who supported me on this journey to get re-elected in as council. So thank you to family, friends, SOTO members. I appreciate your vote and I will do my best to uphold the responsibility of council. And I do just want to take the time to show a bit of appreciation for that support. So again, thank you. On behalf of myself, Valen Goshe, I just want to say a big thank you to all of the Soto First Nations voters out there who supported me throughout this process. I also look very much forward to the next three years working with my co-council to make great decisions for our nation. Um, again, so thank you all for your vote and I look forward to the future. I'd like to thank, also I'd like to thank all the people that supported me in getting me back into council. And I think we're going to have a great team. I think we're all going to work together good. We're going to do a lot more things, I think, and uh, be better for the nation. I'm looking forward to this next three years. So hopefully everybody is happy. <laughs> I want to call Ken, our former chief, um, to, to give a little speech on his turn this time. All these short people. <laughs> I just like to say thank you to everybody that supported me on um, these last three years, and even now in this election, I was supported as a councillor. I decided not to run for chief because I want to see some new people in here. It's time to move on and it's time for me to pass my experience and knowledge on to the new people and I'll be glad to do that. And I know we have a good team and the future is looking very bright and uh, I'm just glad I was here for, for all you people for these last three years. And like I said, uh, the future is very bright. So thank you very much. And our 
new chief, Justin Napoleon. Hello, everybody. Uh, I'd just like to say thank you to the prior chief and council. Um, you guys did a fantastic job. You should be very proud of yourselves. Um, I'd like to say thank you to all the members out there who got involved um, during this election. I'd like to get, I think we had the highest voter turnout ever. That's, that is really good to see that everyone cares and is getting involved in how the nation is run. Um, I'd like to thank Chief, former Chief Ken Cameron. Um, I look forward to working with you. I look forward to working with all of you. I think we've got a very bright future, and I'm going to do my very best to uphold the honor of this office. Thank you very much. Did anyone else want to come forward from staff? Calling on Estelle? Yeah, I think so. Norma's pinpointing you, Estelle. <laughs> she says no. <laughs> She's waved us off. Um, so, in closing, thank you very much. And, and it really has been an honor to meet uh, everyone here. It's been a privilege. And this community, you can tell, it's got heart and soul. So, good luck. Um, for the new chief and council. Thank you. In closing, I just want to say thank you to all. Good luck. And um, I'll be still here in three years, I hope.